If you're watching this video right now, know that it's not by chance. You've been guided here for a reason. Take a deep breath with me, takes a deep breath, and feel the love and positivity surrounding you. I want to share something very special with you today, something that has the power to transform your life in ways you may not even imagine. It's about the incredible connection between your thoughts, your words, and the reality you experience. You know, every single thought that pops into our heads, every word that comes out of our mouths, it's like we're sending out little waves into the world. It's kind of like when you drop a pebble into a pond and watch the ripples spread out. Our thoughts and words work in a similar way. They send out vibrations, invisible waves that travel far and wide. And guess what? The universe, it's like this big cosmic ear that's always listening. It hears every single thing we think and say, my dear friends. Yep, every little thought, every little word, it doesn't miss a beat. The universe takes our thoughts and words super seriously, and it responds in its own special way. Think about this. Imagine your thoughts as tiny messages floating out into the big wide world. Maybe you're thinking about your fluffy dog or how happy the sunshine makes you feel. Well, guess what? The universe catches those thoughts and sends back something wonderful, like a huge comforting hug filled with even more love and sunshine. When you think about how much you adore your dog or how thankful you are for the bright rays of the sun, it's like you're speaking to the universe itself. Your thoughts aren't just random fleeting things. They carry weight, they carry meaning. And the universe in all its vastness is listening. But on the flip side, if you're thinking negative thoughts, like worrying about things going wrong or feeling angry at someone, well, the universe hears that too. And it responds by sending back more of the same. It's like a boomerang effect. What you put out there, you get back. Now, I know it might sound a little bit spooky, but it's actually pretty amazing when you think about it. It means that we have this incredible power to shape our own reality just by the thoughts we choose to think and the words we choose to say. In my teachings, I often speak about the power of positive affirmations. Affirmations are like little love notes to the universe expressing gratitude and love for all that is and all that is to come. When we fill our minds with positive affirmations, we're like gardeners planting seeds of happiness and hope. We choose to think good thoughts like, I am strong or I am loved. These thoughts bloom into a beautiful garden of positivity within our minds. And when we speak words of love and gratitude, we're watering those seeds, helping them grow even stronger. We might say thank you for the little things like a sunny day or a kind word from a friend. Or we might tell ourselves, I love you in the mirror each morning, reminding ourselves of our worth and value. As we nurture this garden of positivity within us, something magical happens. We create a happy mental atmosphere, a space where love, joy, and abundance can thrive. It's like we're creating our own little oasis of happiness in the midst of life's challenges. And in this atmosphere, miracles begin to unfold. Miracles of healing. As our bodies respond to the love and care we show them, miracles of abundance. As we attract opportunities and blessings into our lives. Miracles of joy as we find happiness in the simple moments of everyday life. But here's the thing. We have to believe in the power of our thoughts and words. We have to trust that by filling our minds with positivity, we're creating a fertile ground for miracles to grow. It's not always easy, especially when life throws us curveballs. But even in the darkest times, there's always a glimmer of hope if we choose to see it. But we must also be mindful of the words we speak to ourselves and others. Words have power, immense power. When we say, I don't want to be sick anymore, we are focusing on the illness, not the health we desire. Instead, it's important for us to talk about what we want in a clear and positive way. Instead of focusing on what we don't want, we should focus on what we do want. For example, we might say, I accept perfect health now with confidence and belief. When we speak these words with conviction, the universe pays attention. The universe is like a big listener, always tuning in to what we say and think. When we express our desires in a positive and clear manner, it's like sending out a message to the universe. And guess what? The universe is always ready to respond to our messages. So when we declare our intention for perfect health, 
the universe hears us loud and clear. It starts working in mysterious ways to make our desire a reality. It might send us opportunities to improve our health or guide us towards resources that can help us on our journey. But here's the thing, we have to truly believe in what we're saying. Our words carry power, but that power is amplified when they come from a place of deep conviction. So when we say, I accept perfect health now, we need to say it like we mean it. We need to believe in our hearts that it's possible for us to be healthy and whole. Your body is a sacred temple, a vessel of divine energy. Treat it with love, kindness, and respect. Speak to it in loving ways, for every cell within your body responds to your thoughts and words. Nourish your body with healthy foods and beverages. Move it with joy through exercise and rest it with peaceful sleep. Your body knows how to heal itself, my loves. Trust in its wisdom. When it comes to your mind, my dear friends, it's important to fill it with positivity and love. Let go of thoughts that make you feel bitter, angry, or blameful. These thoughts build walls that block the good things like happiness and success from coming your way. Instead, focus on thoughts that make you feel happy and hopeful. Think about all the good things in your life and be grateful for them. When you shift your mindset to one of positivity and love, you open the door to abundance and joy. You know, my dear ones, you have this amazing power within you. Yes, you. You have the ability to make your life into whatever you want it to be. It's like having a magic wand that you can use to create your own fairy tale. So, how do you do it? Well, it all starts with your thoughts and words. See, the things you think and say have this incredible power to shape your reality. It's like planting seeds in a garden. The thoughts and words you put out there are like seeds, and they grow into the life you're living. Now, I know it might sound a little bit like magic, but trust me, it's real. When you focus your thoughts on what you want, whether it's love, success, happiness, or anything else. You start to attract those things into your life. It's like the universe hears your thoughts and says, hey, they want this, let's make it happen. But here's the thing, it's not just about thinking positive thoughts, you've got to believe in them too. You've got to really feel it in your heart like it's already happening. Because when you believe in your dreams with all your heart, that's when the real magic starts to happen. And then there's your words. Oh, your words are like spells, casting out into the world and making things happen. So speak your dreams into existence, my dear ones. Tell the universe what you want, loud and clear. Say it like you mean it, and watch as miracles unfold before your eyes. So as you continue on your journey, remember this. You are here for a reason. Then listen closely, because what I'm about to share will resonate deep within your soul. As many of you know, I've witnessed countless miracles and transformations throughout my journey. From the smallest shifts to the most profound healings, I've seen firsthand the incredible power we hold within ourselves. It all begins with raising our vibration. So what does it mean to raise your vibration? It's about shifting your energy to align with the frequencies of love, gratitude, and positivity. When we vibrate at a higher frequency, we attract more of what we desire into our lives. One of the most powerful tools we have at our disposal is the practice of affirmations. Affirmations are like seeds planted in the garden of our mind. With patience and consistency, they blossom into beautiful realities. When you speak affirmations, speak them as if they are already true. Feel the energy of those words pulsating through every cell of your being. Let me share some of my favorite affirmations with you. Affirmations are not just words. They are energetic declarations that shape our reality. As you repeat these affirmations daily, you will begin to notice subtle shifts in your thoughts, feelings, and experiences. Meditation is like a superpower for making yourself feel better. It's a really cool way to calm down your busy thoughts and tune into the quiet wisdom inside of you. When you meditate, you create a peaceful space where you can just be without any distractions or worries. One of the best things about meditation is that it's super easy to do. You don't need any fancy equipment or special skills. 
All you need is yourself and a quiet place to sit or lie down. You can close your eyes or keep them open, whatever feels most comfortable for you. The idea is to focus on your breath and let go of all the chatter in your mind. It might seem tricky at first, but with a little practice you'll get the hang of it. And trust me, the benefits are totally worth it. When you quiet your mind through meditation, you create space for clarity, insight, and inspiration to flow in. It's like turning down the volume on all the noise in your head so you can hear the gentle whispers of your inner voice. And let me tell you, that inner voice is full of wisdom and guidance that can help you navigate through life's ups and downs. But meditation isn't just about receiving guidance from within. It's also about connecting with something greater than yourself. Some people call it the universe. Others call it God or spirit or higher power. Whatever you want to call it, the important thing is that meditation helps you tap into that divine energy and feel connected to something bigger than yourself. And here's the really cool part. When you're connected to that higher power, you become a channel for love, peace, and positivity to flow into the world. It's like you're plugging into a source of infinite wisdom and love, and you can share that energy with everyone around you. Moving your body is really great for making yourself feel good. Whether you're stretching in yoga, grooving to your favorite tunes, or taking a stroll outside, getting up and moving around can lift your mood and make you feel more alive. When you move, your body releases all kinds of good stuff, like endorphins, which are chemicals that make you feel happy and positive. So even if you're feeling a bit down or tired, just a little bit of movement can help perk you right up. Yoga is a super awesome way to move your body and raise your vibration. It's all about stretching, breathing, and finding balance, both physically and mentally. Plus, it's a great way to quiet your mind and tune into your inner self. Even just a few minutes of yoga each day can make a big difference in how you feel. If yoga isn't your thing, that's totally okay. There are lots of other ways to get moving and raise your vibration. Dancing is one of my personal favorites. There's something about moving to the rhythm of music that just feels so good. You don't have to be a professional dancer. Just let loose and have fun with it. Dance like nobody's watching. It's really important to remember to be kind to yourself. That means treating yourself the way you would treat a good friend, with love, understanding, and respect. Taking care of yourself, both inside and out, is called self-care, and it's super important for your well-being. So, how do you practice self-love and self-care? Well, it's all about doing things that make you feel happy, healthy, and good about yourself. Just like you would take care of a plant by watering it and giving it sunlight, you need to take care of yourself too. Start by doing things that bring you joy and make you feel good. Maybe that means spending time with loved ones, playing your favorite game, or going for a walk in nature. Whatever it is, make sure it's something that makes you smile and fills your heart with happiness. Taking care of your body is also really important. That means eating nutritious foods, getting enough sleep, and staying active. When you fuel your body with healthy food and give it the rest and exercise it needs, you'll feel stronger, more energized, and ready to take on the world. But self-care isn't just about taking care of your body. It's also about taking care of your mind and soul. That might mean practicing mindfulness or meditation to calm your mind and reduce stress. It could also mean spending time doing things that make you feel creative or inspired, like painting, writing, or listening to music. And don't forget to be kind to yourself when things don't go as planned. We all make mistakes and face challenges from time to time, and that's okay. Instead of being hard on yourself, try to show yourself the same compassion and understanding you would show a friend. Remember, you're doing the best you can, and that's something to be proud of. 
One of the best ways to make yourself feel good is by doing nice things for other people. When we help others without wanting anything back, it makes us feel happy inside. This feeling spreads like ripples in water. It means that when we do something kind, it doesn't just affect that person, it affects lots of other people too. It's like dropping a pebble in a pond and watching the ripples go out in all directions. Think about it like this. Imagine you see someone who needs help carrying their groceries and you offer to lend a hand. That person feels grateful, right? But it doesn't stop there. Maybe they go home feeling happier and more positive. Then they might be nicer to their family or friends, spreading that good feeling to them. And who knows, maybe one of those friends then decides to help someone else and the chain of kindness continues. It's like a wave of happiness that keeps growing and spreading. This ripple effect of love and positivity doesn't just stay in one place. It travels far and wide, touching the lives of countless people. And the beautiful thing is, it all starts with a simple act of kindness. When we give from our heart without expecting anything in return, we become part of something bigger than ourselves. We become agents of change, spreading love and positivity wherever we go. And the best part? We get to experience the joy and fulfillment that comes from making a positive difference in the world. Raising your vibration is not just a one-time event. It's a lifelong journey of growth and self-discovery. Embrace each moment with an open heart and a willing spirit. Trust in the wisdom of the universe and know that everything is unfolding exactly as it should. I am a radiant being of light shining brightly for all the world to see. Repeating this affirmation whenever you need a reminder of your true essence and to believe that everything you desire is coming your way. So life is a journey of trust, a journey of faith in the unseen. When we trust in the universe, we open ourselves up to endless possibilities and miracles. We let go of fear and doubt, knowing that the universe always has our back. Affirmations are like little pep talks you give yourself every day. They're like planting seeds in a garden. The more you water them, the more they grow. Affirmations help you build trust in yourself and in the universe. So what are affirmations? They're simple statements that you repeat to yourself like, I am worthy, I am deserving, or I am capable. These statements remind you of your worth and your potential. They help you let go of self-doubt and believe in yourself. Repeating affirmations daily is like exercising a muscle. The more you do it, the stronger you become. It's like training your brain to focus on the positive instead of the negative. And the more you focus on the positive, the more positive things you attract into your life. But why are affirmations so powerful? Because they work on a subconscious level. When you repeat affirmations, you're sending a message to your subconscious mind that you believe in yourself and in your ability to achieve your goals. And when your subconscious mind believes something, it goes to work to make it happen. So how do you use affirmations to build trust? Start by choosing affirmations that resonate with you. They should be positive, present tense, and personal to you. For example, instead of saying, I will be worthy, say, I am worthy. And instead of saying, I hope I can do it, say, I am capable. Once you've chosen your affirmations, repeat them daily, preferably in the morning or before bed. Say them out loud or write them down, whatever feels most comfortable to you. The key is to repeat them consistently so they sink into your subconscious mind. Surrendering to the flow of life is essential for building trust. Let go of the need to control every outcome and embrace the journey with an open heart and mind. Trust that everything is unfolding exactly as it should and that the universe is guiding you towards your highest good.
Embracing the unknown is a courageous act of trust. Step into the unknown with confidence and faith, knowing that the universe is always conspiring in your favor. Trust that the answers you seek will reveal themselves in divine timing. To build trust, you need to let go of anything that's stopping you. It's like cleaning out your closet to make room for new clothes. You need to clear out doubts, fears, and those thoughts that tell you, I can't do it. Instead, surrender to the river of life and let it carry you. Imagine holding on to a balloon filled with worries and doubts. If you keep holding on to it, it will pull you down. But if you let it go, it will float away and you'll feel lighter and freer. That's what letting go of resistance is like. Start by identifying what's holding you back. Is it a fear of failure? A belief that you're not good enough? Whatever it is, acknowledge it and then let it go. You can do this by simply saying to yourself, I release this fear or I let go of this limiting belief. Next, surrender to the flow of life. Trust that the universe has your back and is guiding you every step of the way. It's like jumping into a river and letting it carry you downstream. You don't need to fight against the current. You just need to trust that it will take you where you need to go. When you surrender to the flow of life, you open yourself up to new opportunities and experiences. You start to see that everything is happening for a reason, even if you can't see it in the moment and you realize that you're never alone. The universe is always there to support you. Surrendering doesn't mean giving up control. It means letting go of the need to control everything. It's like driving a car with a GPS. You set your destination, but you trust that the GPS will guide you there. You don't need to micromanage every turn. You just need to follow the directions and trust that you'll arrive at your destination. Gratitude is like a magic potion that makes trust grow stronger. It's all about being thankful for everything good in your life, no matter how small. When you appreciate the good things, you send a message to the universe that says, I trust you to take care of me. So how can you cultivate gratitude? It's simple. Start by making a list of all the blessings in your life, big and small. Maybe you're grateful for the roof over your head, the food on your table, or the love of your family and friends. Or perhaps you're thankful for the beauty of nature, the kindness of strangers, or the little moments of joy that brighten your day. Once you've made your list, take a moment each day to express gratitude for these blessings. You can say a simple thank you to the universe, write in a gratitude journal, or even just take a moment to silently appreciate the good things in your life. The key is to focus on what you have rather than what you lack. As you cultivate an attitude of gratitude, you'll start to notice something amazing happening. You'll begin to trust more deeply in the universe's ability to provide for you. You'll see that even in tough times, there are still blessings to be found. And you'll feel a sense of abundance and richness in your life that you may have never experienced before. When you trust that the universe is always providing for you, you open yourself up to even more blessings. You start to see opportunities where you once saw obstacles and you attract positive experiences into your life like a magnet, and the more you express gratitude for these blessings, the more they multiply. So why is gratitude such a powerful catalyst for trust? It's because gratitude is like a beacon of light that illuminates the path ahead. When you focus on what you're thankful for, you shift your energy from fear and doubt to faith and confidence. You remind yourself that the universe is on your side, always guiding and supporting you. Visualization is like making pictures in your mind. It's like creating a movie starring you. So here's how it works. First, find a quiet place where you can sit or lie down comfortably. Then close your eyes and take a deep breath. Imagine yourself living your dream life. Picture every detail vividly, 
like you're watching a movie of your future. See yourself in your dream home, surrounded by love and happiness. Feel the warmth of the sun on your face as you relax in your beautiful garden. Hear the laughter of your loved ones as you share special moments together. Imagine yourself succeeding in your career, accomplishing your goals, and feeling proud of your achievements. As you visualize, try to feel the emotions as if your dreams have already come true. Feel the joy, excitement, and gratitude bubbling up inside you. Let yourself bask in the happiness of living your dream life. Now, here's the most important part, trust. Trust that the universe is working behind the scenes to make your dreams a reality. Believe that your visions are like seeds planted in the fertile soil of the universe, ready to sprout and grow into beautiful flowers. Love is the ultimate expression of trust. Fill your heart with love and positivity and trust that love will always lead you in the right direction. Trust in the power of love to heal, transform, and manifest miracles in your life. Nature is a beautiful reminder of the power of trust. Look around you and see the abundance and beauty that surrounds you. Trust that you constantly chase after something external, whether it's success, love, or happiness. We're operating from a place of lack. We're telling ourselves that we don't already have what we desire, and so we must tirelessly pursue it. But what if I told you that everything you seek is already within you? What if I told you that by simply aligning with the essence of who you truly are, you can effortlessly attract all that you desire into your life? You know, sometimes we think success is all about chasing after things outside of ourselves. But guess what? The real secret to success isn't about running after stuff. It's about finding peace and love inside yourself. So instead of always looking outside for success, take some time to look inside. Cultivate that feeling of peace and love within you. Imagine it like planting seeds in a garden. When you water those seeds with love and kindness, they start to grow big and strong. When you're full of peace and love, it's like you're a magnet for success. You don't even have to try hard. It just comes to you naturally. People are drawn to your positive energy and opportunities seem to fall into your lap. Think about it like this. When you're happy and content on the inside, you're more open to all the good things the universe has to offer. It's like you're saying to the world, I'm ready for whatever comes my way. And here's the best part. You don't have to wait for success to find you. You can start cultivating that inner peace and love right now. Take a few deep breaths close your eyes and imagine yourself surrounded by love and abundance. Feel that warm, fuzzy feeling in your heart. In my teachings and writings, I often speak about the power of our thoughts and words. What we affirm to ourselves on a daily basis shapes our reality. So instead of chasing after success, start affirming to yourself that you are already successful. Every morning as you wake up, Look into the mirror and repeat affirmations such as, I am successful, I am worthy of all the abundance life has to offer, I attract success effortlessly. By doing so, you're reprogramming your subconscious mind to align with the reality you wish to create. Another essential aspect of attracting success is practicing radical self-love and self-care. When you prioritize your well-being and honor your needs, you send a powerful message to the universe that you deserve all the blessings that life has to offer. Gratitude is like magic for making good things happen in your life. It's simple but powerful. Every day, take a little time to think about all the good stuff you already have. Maybe it's the people who care about you, like your family and friends, or maybe it's the beauty of the world around you, like the trees, the sky, or the flowers. Even the little things count, like a warm cup of tea on a chilly morning or a friendly smile from a stranger. When you focus on these good things and say thanks for them, you're opening up the door for even more good stuff to come your way. 
It's like planting seeds of happiness in your heart. The more you plant, the more they grow. So make gratitude a habit. You can write in a journal, say thanks out loud, or just think about all the things you're grateful for. However you do it, just make sure to do it every day. And here's the really cool part. When you're grateful for what you have, it's like sending a message to the universe. You're saying, hey, I appreciate all this good stuff in my life. And the universal, being the awesome place that it is, wants to send you even more good stuff to be grateful for. Visualization is like using your imagination to make your dreams come true. It's a super cool trick that anyone can do. Here's how it works. Every day, take a little time to picture yourself living your dream life. Maybe you're chilling on a sunny beach, or maybe you're rocking it on stage in front of a huge crowd. Whatever your dream is, see it in your mind like it's happening right now. But here's the fun part. Don't just see it, feel it too. Imagine how awesome it would feel to be living your dream. Maybe you're smiling from ear to ear, or maybe you're doing a happy dance. Whatever it is, feel those good vibes deep down in your bones. When you do this, you're telling the universe, hey, this is what I want. It's like sending out a big clear message that says, I'm ready for all the good stuff. And guess what? The universe is always listening. So when it hears your message, it starts working behind the scenes to make your dreams a reality. Now you might be thinking, but how do I know if it's working? Well, here's the thing. The universe doesn't always work on our timetable. Sometimes it takes a little while for things to happen, but that's okay. Just keep visualizing, keep feeling those good vibes, and trust that the universe is doing its thing. And here's a little secret. The more you visualize, the easier it gets. It's like flexing a muscle. You get stronger the more you use it. So don't be afraid to dream big and visualize often. You never know what amazing things might come your way. Finally, it's time to release any thoughts that make you feel small. These are the beliefs or words that say things like, I can't do it or I'm not good enough. They're like heavy chains holding you back. But guess what? You have the power to break free from them. First, let's talk about limiting beliefs. These are ideas that tell you what you can't do or what you're not capable of. Maybe someone once told you that you'll never succeed, or maybe you've just started to believe it yourself. Well, it's time to kick those beliefs to the curb. You are capable of so much more than you think. Negative self-talk is another biggie. This is when you say mean things to yourself, like, I'm stupid, or, I'll never be good enough. Ouch. That kind of talk doesn't do anyone any favors. It's like planting weeds in your garden instead of flowers. So let's pull out those weeds and plant some beautiful thoughts instead. Now let's talk about what to replace those limiting beliefs and negative thoughts with. We're talking about thoughts that make you feel strong, confident, and empowered. These are the thoughts that say, I can do anything I set my mind to, or I am worthy of all the good things in life. It might feel a bit weird at first, like trying on a new pair of shoes, but the more you practice, the more natural it will feel. You'll start to believe in yourself in a whole new way. And guess what? That's when the magic happens. Imagine waking up in the morning and feeling excited about the day ahead. You're ready to take on any challenge that comes your way because you know deep down that you've got what it takes. That's the power of confidence and empowerment. I want you to know that you have within you the power to attract all the success, love, and abundance you desire. You are a magnificent being capable of creating miracles in your life. So never pursue anything outside of yourself. Instead, Align with the truth of who you are and watch as success chases after you.